little time is left before the early elections on January 5th. All the presidential candidates are trying to attract as many voters as possible. All of them are remaining true to their established political image. One of the most imposing political figures is the leader of the New Rights Party, David Gamgrelidze. As always, he has the air of a businessman. His party, in fact, has the reputation of defending business interests and very seriously without hiring presents his campaign platform without raising his fist in the air. Georgi Maisashvili, representing the party of the future, is the least well known of these candidates among Georgians. He is one of the most unusual Georgian political figures. It is seen by his behavior and style of clothing. Because of this, he attracts young people. I entered his room and I was in shock. He was sitting on the floor reading a book. For Georgia it's very unbelievable that a presidential candidate can sit on the floor reading a book while a press photographer, a journalist, is here. <laughs> Shalva Natalashvili, the candidate from the Labour Party on the other hand, is a very different type. He attracts older votes. These are, uh, this are all people who believe in this uh, leader because they are living in another time, in Soviet era maybe. And uh, he is saying that uh, medicine should be free and other things as uh, it was in Soviet Union. Also, compensation for saving lost when Soviet banks collapsed. They believe in him because of they want to believe in him. They are mostly all people who want to believe in something, I think. <laughs> Ayak Devoda.